Hey y'all, I'm Cass B and welcome back to my channel. So in the last couple weeks, we've been doing this mini series where everything is all things Big Hairball Fashion Show. And so the first part of our series, we showed you guys a little bit of the details and the little sneak peeks of all the garments that we've been working on in the last couple of months. And then the next video was some very exclusive behind the scenes footage of the fashion show itself, where of course I plugged my Instagram where I can show you guys all the actual videos of the looks rocking the runway. So today, because this isn't uh, as cohesive as a collection as you might expect from a normal fashion designer, we're gonna talk about the inspiration behind each of the looks, all five that we did this year, and why we made the decisions that we did. So let's take a look. So as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, the Big Hair Ball has a rotating theme annually, so it changes every single year. And this year, the theme was Let's Play. So Let's Play is all inclusive of board games, kids' toys, and sports. So we had five looks, and each look obviously had a corresponding theme. So let's start with the first one, shall we? So we have our really cute little silver cocktail dress, uh, and this was inspired by the kids game, uh, or kids toy, Slinky. So traditionally, Slinkies, if you think back, after doing a little bit of research, the original Slinky was made just out of metal, it's like this metal coil that is designed for for kids to play with. And so, it's silver, right? And then the more modern interpretation is much more rainbow, some are iridescent and sparkly and shiny, and so, we wanted to pay tribute to the original form of the slinky, and so we chose this really great spandex, stretchy fabric that of course is good for a form-fitting cocktail dress that has much more landing towards silver tones, paying homage to the traditional slinky, but then also has this iridescent shine to it that brings in that much more modern interpretation of the slinky today. So moving right along, as I said, Let's Play is inclusive of not only toys, but also sports. So the next inspiration that we drew from, which is perhaps my favorite, was inspired by the sport ballet, or in this instance, a ballerina. So I was really excited about this look because our model that walked in the runway show was gonna go down the runway on point the entire time. She did an incredible job. And I was also really excited about this one because out of all the themes that we did this year, I felt that this was perhaps the most representational of our brand Caspi today. So of course it's pink, we included feathers, and this look maybe was one that took uh, the longest. We used over 60 yards of pink tulle. We designed this two-tier, uh, T-length gathered skirt. Very excited about this. Our model did an incredible job. All the feathers, all the beading, this is all things that I love about design. So we were thrilled with how this one turned out. So our next inspiration, so this one actually encompassed two looks. So usually each inspiration is just one idea, right? So we've had Slinky, we've had a ballerina, um, but this one, our sponsor is one of my sweet friends. She was really excited about this and decided that she wanted it to have two models for this look. So here's why. So this inspiration was chess. And so she wanted to have two models actually interact on stage. And so we picked some of what we decided to be the most important key players, the queen and the knight. And then we were gonna design two looks and have them interact on stage. So first of all, the queen. I loved the queen. We wanted this really feminine, delicate look to it. Um, but for both looks, we incorporated this wet stretch vinyl fabric. We liked the sleek look of them because the, the design overall was to almost imitate what chess pieces themselves actually look like. And I think that you can see that within the design overall and how they're illustrated. The queen herself, very feminine. We have some beautiful feather puff sleeves. And then the base was very carefully designed so that it could really look like the base of a chess piece. And then we come to the knight. So the knight, still feminine, but a little bit on the edgier side. We have that black, the black wet vinyl. Um, so it's the same fabric for giving that sleek look, but we drew a lot of inspiration from actual armor that knights would wear in medieval times. And you can see that within the layering and all the panels and the delicate uh, and very detailed rivets that we included within each of these panels. A lot uh, all in one look, but this all came together on stage whenever they interacted. So the knight comes out, she drops her cape, which is actually a chessboard. Her and the queen, they come together on stage, they interact, they do a fencing dance. The knight goes off and the queen comes back, and after she does her walk, she takes the chessboard with her. So that all came together really swimmingly. I loved how they interacted on stage. It was a lot of moving parts, but I loved how those two looked together. And so, we come to the final look. And I say final look both in that it is the last look in our mini collection for this fashion show, and the fact that this was actually the grand finale look. 
So we've had sports, we've had kids toys, we've had board games, and so the final look was inspired by the game of cards. You know, we don't usually go forth more than one or two drawings uh, or renderings so that we can come up with different ideas for a look. This one we actually had three working sketches before deciding on the final look. We had tossed around the idea of maybe taking cards, but then lending more towards one particular game of cards. We thought about putting more emphasis on the game of spades, we drew up a couple renderings, and then ultimately we decided to just stay true to the nature of cards. And so you can see that we rendered this really great, very avant-garde, high-collared, super long, voluminous structured coat with four individual panels. And each of these panels were very carefully crafted to be the face of playing cards. I wish I had uh, taken note of how many rhinestones that we put on this, but I can attest that Bailey spent weeks, weeks rhinestoning this. And even up until the last second of the fashion show, packing up all of our stuff to go, myself and my intern Caroline were gluing away like crazy people, so. Overall, we're really thrilled with how this turned out. I think it is absolutely representational of our theme cards. Uh, and then of course, underneath, we had this really sleek, sexy red matching corset and a cowled fitted skirt to complete the whole cards ensemble. So I hope you all enjoyed a little bit more hearing about the inspiration behind each piece. Usually fashion collections are a little bit more cohesive and in this instance, it's usually a little bit, a little bit more artsy. Obviously everything is themed. Um, and so in the last video, if you guys would like to see them on the runway, the one that I posted last week, you guys can actually see the event come together and all of these actually walk the runway. So although this is bittersweet, this is the last collection that I will be making for the Big Hairball because this is the last year that they're hosting it. But I know that they have even bigger and better things to come. And although it's bittersweet, I'm even more excited for what's in store for Caspi in this year. So as always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see y'all next week.